Good morning, guys. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. How are y'all doing this morning? Well, we had some good rain last night. Had some good uh, lightning and thunder. Dogs are freaking out. But uh, it's so good to sleep when it's raining outside because it's the, the noise is calming. <clears throat> Today we're going to pray Psalm 17. And Psalm 17 has some interesting verses in it. Um, and I picked it because it kind of applies to what we've got going on <clears throat> going on now and the stuff that we're looking for. Uh, today is Good Friday. Today is the weekend we've been looking for. Uh, our Lord was crucified during this time. He was crucified and he was taken down and he was buried. And on Sunday morning, they found his tomb empty. And I'm actually going to do a video reading the story. Um, because we need to remember and, and really in our hearts commemorate this time frame. Because this is what he came for. This is what he, you know, his, his birth is one thing. But his death is what is to be celebrated because of what he did when he died. What he provided what he established, what he accomplished. The mystery began way back in the beginning. As time went on, the mystery kind of slipped off the radar. But the mystery is the important thing because without the mystery, nothing else happens. It's really important to understand that the church and the rapture of the church and the glorification of the church is extremely important to this process. We're meant for something different than what we think or than what we've been taught. Because, you know, the church has gotten away from teaching this stuff. Teaching the glory of the Lord. Sure, they read a story around Easter, but they've gotten away from teaching the glory of the Lord. And it's strange. But when you read enough of the Bible, you realize this was all predicted to happen. That's why Jesus said, when I, when I come, will I find faith in the earth? It is so desperately important we hang on to our faith. Even if we're weak, even if we're stumbling, hang on to our faith. Trust in him. Stay strong. If you have to get away for a while, get away. If the world's getting you down, take a break. But let's stand in faith. And just like this prayer is titled, Prayer with Confidence and Final Salvation, our final salvation is about to happen. Guys, we've been going through numbers the last couple of days, uh, and just more and more and more numbers are matching up. More scriptures are matching up. Um, it, it's actually pretty interesting to see some of the things the world is predicting as far as population growth, as far as activity, things that are about to happen the next couple of weeks, and then look at the Bible and it's like, okay, well, that kind of fits, you know. So it, even the secular world knows something is about to happen. It's very obvious. And we see a clear defining line coming between those who aren't walking in very much faith and those who are, those who are looking for the Lord and loving his appearing. And that's not to say those brothers and sisters aren't saved, because many of them are. They're just, they're losing their faith. They're stumbling. Pray for them. They need it. Um, now is the time more than ever to stand firm and stand strong and be ready because he's coming for those who are overcomers. So be an overcomer. Go read 1 John 5. Go be, be an overcomer. Then go read what Jesus tells you what the overcomer gets in the first three chapters of the book of Revelations. It's amazing. If we don't have faith in him, why are we here doing this? Are we playing church? There's a lot of people that do that. They just play church. I, I love the feeling I get when I give my tithe. I love the feeling I get when I sing the songs. I love the feeling I get when I, you know, you get into heavy prayer. <coughs> <coughs> the preacher's jumping up and down. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, dressing up, something to do on Sunday. We got Easter coming up. We got this coming up, getting all the programs. You know, they, they turn it into a job. 
The Jews did the same thing with the law. They got away from the spiritual aspect and got full into the physical aspect. And a lot of Christians, unfortunately, that's what church is for them. It's just the physical thing. They don't have actual faith inside. And it's terrible to see. Terrible, terrible to see. And that's why so many are going to get saved in the first part of the, of the tribulation. Because these are going to be the ones who thought they were good and weren't there. They weren't faithful. And they had corrections they had to make. Thank God they did. Thank God he gave them space to do it. And they did. And they didn't have to go through the really bad stuff that's going to be on the earth. So, let us stand strong in solidarity and in faith. You know, a lot of people are slipping. A lot of people are getting upset. A lot of people are getting offended. Have patience with them. And just trust in the Lord for all these things. Without Him, we have nothing. What else can you trust in? Let's get into some prayer. Father, we come before you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ to give you praise, honor, and glory. We praise you for your amazing grace. We honor you for the love and mercy that you've shown us. And we glorify you because you are God. Because you are ours. And we are yours. Father, you are on your throne. Father, you have this under control. This earth is yours. We belong to you. And you are our God. In times past, people heard, people knew. People said they believed, but they didn't. Ultimately, it was a physical thing for them. Father, you've called out a people in these last times to be in a place of spiritual response to your free gift. A spiritual response and a spiritual reaction to what our Lord has done, which that time frame is about to happen. To what our Lord has done. You've opened up the eyes of all those to see these revelations. You've opened up the hearts of those who are faithful to receive all this. Father, I ask that you strengthen our, the brothers and sisters. Strengthen your children. Strengthen us to be ready for the final push, the final fight. And that battle is a strong spiritual battle. Help us make it to the very end. Help us endure that we may keep glorifying you till we leave here. And then we'll glorify you in your presence, which would be, would be amazing. Father, there's a lot happening down here. A lot of people are suffering. What is amazing to me is what you've done right before this time these things change. You've given the earth rest. you stop stopped people and given the earth rest. And the changes that are being made are amazing in the earth. Look how quick she heals <clears throat> from this rest you've given her. Now, if we as people would learn to do this on a regular basis... We wouldn't have the problems that we have in this world today. But that's because they didn't put you first. And that's unfortunate. But we know, Father, you're going to fix that. And you're going to put things back right the way they should be. We trust you for that. We trust you for our salvation. We trust you for our protection. We trust you for our redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ and the gift he provided by his sacrifice on the cross, which is, we're in the season of that happening right now. In this prayer, I'd like to honor our Lord Jesus for what he did, for showing us such a great amount of love that he sacrificed himself for us. There can be no greater gift than someone gives up their life for the people they love. And what an amazing gift that it is. And it truly is a gift, a free gift, if people would just accept it. I pray all hearts bless you, and all hearts reach out to you and call out to you, and all voices sing your praises. Father, this morning I'd like to pray Psalm 17, prayer with confidence in final salvation. Hear a just cause, O Lord. Attend to my cry. 
Give ear to my prayer, which is not from deceitful lips. Let my vindication come from your presence. Let your eyes look on the things that are upright. You have tested my heart. You have visited me in the night. You have tried me and have found nothing. I have purposed that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning the works of men, by the word of your lips, I have kept away from the paths of the destroyer. Uphold my steps in your paths, that my footsteps may not slip. I have called upon you, for you will hear me, O God. Incline your ear to me, and hear my speech. Show your marvelous loving kindness by your right hand, O you who save those who trust in you from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings, from the wicked who oppress me, from my deadly enemies who surround me. They have closed up their fat hearts, with their mouths they speak proudly. They have now surrounded us in our steps. They have set their eyes, crouching down to the earth, as a lion is eager to tear his prey, and like a young lion <clears throat> lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, confront him, cast him down. Deliver my life from the wicked with your sword. With your hand from men, O Lord. From men of the world who have their portion in this life, and whose belly you fill with your hidden treasure. They are sat uh, satisfied with children, and leave the rest of their possession for their babes. As for me, I will see your face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake in your likeness. Father, that last verse says it all. All of them do, but that last one says it all. We look forward to standing before you in your throne, to honor you in your presence, to glorify you, to praise you in your presence, to hear all of heaven shout. Bless us with peace, the peace that defies all understanding. Bless us with strength, Father to make it to the end, to stand with confidence and to keep watching for our Lord and his approach. It is in his beautiful, mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for morning prayer. Remember to honor the Lord, especially these next couple of days. It is important because of what he did. Later today, if I'm able, I'll do a video and I'm going to read the story of that glorious couple of days, those days we're in now, so we can recount and honor our Lord for what he did for us, because what he did was amazing. And we will never fully understand exactly what it means until we get up there and stand with him in the spiritual realm. Then we'll fully understand what the real meaning behind it, the real purpose behind it, and it is a glorious one. I love you guys. I bless you all in Jesus' name. I pray our Father blesses you too. I'll see you guys in the next video.